Goodness, Grandpa, why is it taking such a deep hole? This is a trench to absorb water, my granddaughter. It will reduce runoff. The water will seep into the trench, then into the ground. There will be more water for my crops and the borehole. This will protect our buildings and fields from flooding and erosion. This sounds like a great idea, Grandpa. And how is it going to protect us from flooding? Instead of the water running down the hill, it will flow into the trench. After that, it will soak into the ground. Rainwater absorption trenches are useful in areas that experience strong rainfall during the wet season. Plan your trenches carefully and organize teams of people to do the digging. Place the trenches on the hillside directly above the village or fields, but not all in a straight line. Rather, stagger them in two rows across the slope of the hill. For a large hill, you may have to dig several separate trenches, but don't overdo it. Too many trenches will prevent water from flowing to where it is needed. The pits should be between 2 and 3 meters long and between 1 and 2 meters wide. A maximum depth of 1 meter is usually sufficient. Once you have dug the trench, cover the bottom with banana leaves then add a layer of stones or broken bricks. After which, fill the rest of the pit with larger rocks. While the pit is empty, erect a fence of long poles around the trench so that people and animals can't fall into the trench. When the pit is full of the larger rocks, then you can remove the fence. Check the trenches before the start of the rainy season and clear away any leaves and branches. Rainwater absorption trenches promote vigorous field crops that are well nourished by groundwater. They also reduce soil erosion during rainstorms and provide a higher water table, even in months when there is no rain. Now that we have finished the water trench, it will protect us from flooding and erosion. Yes, we will have more water from the streams, from boreholes and in the ground. <laughs>